Tonight we're headed across the pond to hang with a different kind of football club, the five-time English champions, London Wasps. Not many professional sports teams can trace their origins back to a few pints in a North London pub, but rugby's London Wasps are no ordinary sports team. Formed nearly 150 years ago, it's a team with a rich tradition, championship-filled history. And tonight on Playbook 360, we're heading straight into the heart of the scrum, getting to know a few of these modern-day barbarians. With football, it's all about the NFL, but rugby, it's global. You can play on multiple teams, on multiple continents, in multiple leagues. James Haskell has played from Europe all the way to Japan. And New Zealand, don't forget New Zealand. Don't forget New Zealand. I'll get upset if you forget New Zealand. <laughs> Is it hard playing on different teams on, on different continents? Yeah, you know, when I first started trying to do it, I, I was obviously nervous, you know, because you're going into different environments, there's always a language barrier, but sport is sport wherever you go, and rugby is rugby. So I think that uh, that unifies you, the cultural side sort of picks up afterwards. In Japan and New Zealand, those are two completely different places. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, the Japanese are very polite, so they didn't necessarily take to my loud, sort of brash English ways. Um, any team environment, as you all know, being a professional sportsman, is that, uh, you know, performance and how you play on the field and your dedication to training speaks volumes. It's, it's pretty simple, actually. As long as you toe the party line and show you're a hard worker, everyone accepts you. All right, I got you. To be. Look after yourself, man. Appreciate it. James Haskell, the brand. Since the days of old, rivalries have fueled fierce competition in the NFL, New York Giants. Philadelphia Eagles. Rugby, Leicester Tigers, London Wasps. Marco, you're right in the middle of it right now. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, you know, a team becomes your family, and suddenly you move to a rival team. I mean, I remember when I was on the Philadelphia Eagles, and I just came from the Giants. I was so amped up to play against the Giants. I mean, I just wanted to go out there and just wreck shop, and I probably had one of the best games of my life. When emotion gets involved, you know, it becomes fun. Especially in the scrum, you start throwing punches start pulling people's arms, scratching, biting. It's a physical game. It's, it's about men trying to hurt other men. Um, so if you can get away with a bit of niggle here and there, you'll, you'll, you'll take it and give it out. That's, that's how you got that shiner right there. Got the shiner last weekend. Um, like, yeah, that's the game. That's, that's what we love. That's what people love watching it. So, and we all want to win, that's what we play. I wish you all the best. Thanks, bud. In the States, the path to football prospects is relatively the same. High school, college, then you get drafted to the pros. But what about rugby? Christian Wade had a different experience. What was your path? My school was pretty full on, so we was playing uh, rugby probably three times a week and then playing games on a Saturday, so I didn't really see the need to join a club at the early stages. From there, they kind of picked the best players to try and form the England under-16s team. And then from there, you move up into the 18s and then the 20s. You have a whole bunch of different levels, and then someone discovers you, and then they move you right. to like an academy level. Yeah, so when I was 16, I got offered a two-year academy contract. And then you had college and you had rugby at the same time at the professional yeah. level. But at one point, you had to make a decision for yourself to yeah. just focus on your craft and focus on your sport. Right, yeah. But this is your second year with the Wasps. How's it going? Uh, it's going real good. But really, I want to smash the season, just do well and just sh show people what I can do. All right, appreciate it, Christian. Nice one, man. Yes, sir. Cheers. It's been a great day here at the London Wasps. I got to meet Christian Wade. James Haskell. Donnie, come over here. What do you want? Come over here, come over here, come on. Hold on real quick. Right, so we were thinking, we know how you Americans think you can do everything. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've got a spot opened up for a new kicker. We want to see if you can, what you can do. Well, yeah. Wait, you think I can do it? No, I don't know if you can Yeah, I can do it, I can do it. No Watch out, back up, back up, back up, back up. See if you kick is as big as your mouth, boy. Oh, wow. Talking trash. Don't split them jeans, yeah? <laughs> Talk about my jeans. You need to limber up a little bit. You're looking a bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Gentlemen. Ryan Jones, Playbook 360. I'm out.